Okay, let's begin by creating a Google group. So we're going to go to Google Groups. And then we're going to select Google Groups. Groups.google.com. And to create a group, it's very easy. You're just going to go to the top right here and click this red Create Group icon. And let's name our, our group. We'll say GCE for Google Certified Ed Educator Practice Avella 1. Let's say that's what we want to call it here. So we're in the process of creating a group. And now we're going to establish some group information. So this is going to be our, our email address here. Um, let's go down. So like I said, this is going to be our, our email. It's going to be based off the, off the group name. And let's just say for a description, because we're going to establish some information, this is a groups. And let's scroll down here because we're still in the process of creating a group. So let's select group type. I have a slide on, on that, but we'll get into that later. So for now, let's just pick an email list. And then some basic permissions here. You can, um, you know, uh, this describes viewing different topics. So who can view, managers, all members, uh, posts, and things like that. So now let's just get to create. Create. I am not a robot. Okay. Continue. And it's been created. Um, getting started with your new group here. And it gives you some options to start with. But we'll get back to that. Let's just press OK. Um, and do you want to link it to your profile? Um, sure. Save my changes. And there we are. We've created a, a group and we've established some group information. Now let's say that uh, we want to uh, set basic uh, group permissions. So I'm going to go to uh, groups from the front and I'm going to select my groups. And here you see a bunch of different groups. Um, this is the one we just created, but I'm, I'm going to uh, work with a different group. Let's say the teachers of New Jersey. And here I want to set group permissions. Go to manage. Okay, and once you go to manage, you're going to go to permissions here, and then you can choose from any of these uh, sub permissions. So let's say uh, you want to take a look at basic permissions. Okay, um, kind of what we saw earlier, just going to give you a look at posting permissions, which is a lot, a lot more detailed. So, you know, um, who can assign a topic, owners, managers, things like that. Let's put uh, all members of the group. It gets a lot. Use a canned responses are, are, are important. Um, maybe just the owner. But there's there's really a lot to get into here. Anyway, you're gonna press save. And now you've um, you've set a couple group permissions. So let's go back to the top. And now let's say you want to select group type. Now if you create a group, initially they're gonna let you select group type right here. Okay, just by pressing create. However, let's say you want to go back and, and change. Well, in that case, you go to My Groups. Let's uh, this time go to uh, G let's let's go let's go back to Teachers of New Jersey. Select Manage, and here you're going to go to Information. And within Information, you're going to go all the way down to Advanced. And once you press Advanced, you'll see here Group Type. Select Group Type. You can click this right here. And now you can change it, whether it be from email list to web form. Let's select Q&A form. It kind of gives you a description of what it is. You have to force reset of permission and roles. And let's reset this group. Are you sure you want to reset the, uh, are you sure you want to reset the group settings? Yeah. Okay. Changes to group settings were made. Now I'm going to go back to the top again. And this time, let's say you want to add members to a group. You want to add members to a group. So first, let's go to My Groups and pick the group that you want. Let's go to the new one. We'll go to Manage again. OK, and let's say I want to invite members. This is the group we just created. So you want to add members. You're going to go to Invite Members. And here, just, just enter, enter the email address, right? So let me, let me enter. And I'm going to say, please join this group and send the invite. I am not a robot. Continue. And an invitation was sent. And um, let's go back to the top and we'll do the last task, which is to share info with an entire group by sending an email. So you want to send and share an email with the entire group. 
you're going to go to my groups. Let's go to manage. You can go all the way down. General information. And here is your group email address. Teachers of New Jersey at googlegroups.com. And you're just going to take this and you can share it. So maybe I go to Gmail. And uh, here I am in Gmail and I'm just going to send this subject test email test email and now it's been sent to the to the entire group so that's going to be it with google groups